I went by Quail Lake yesterday because according to the Windy app, it was going to be the least windy of all my local lakes. I usually don't like fishing in the wind, but I was really jonesing to get out on the lake somewhere. It's an addiction, I know, but as addictions go, it could be worse. And the wind didn't turn out to be as bad as was forecast. Friday, I had made some pack bait with ahi fish meal because ahi steaks were on sale at Safeway. And I couldn't wait to try it out. I had also made some boilies from the pack bait by adding egg and semolina flour, rolling into balls and microwaving them. The leftover dough, which I didn't microwave, I saved for dough balls. In the early morning yesterday, there were so many trout in front of me the carp may not have been able to get to my bait. So I decided to fish for trout. I recently stumbled upon a new technique for trout which caught me over 50 fish the first time I tried it, over 30 fish the second time I tried it, and yesterday I ended up catching 65 trout. I'll make a video soon that demonstrates the technique. It's really so simple it's ridiculous. I had a fly hook, a few split shot and six pound test on my crappie rod for throwing dough balls. But I didn't want to use my dough bait for trout. So I dug through my bag and found an unopened pack of fireworms. You can get them for $2 at Walmart, which was probably a couple of years old. The trout that I saw jump were tiny, so I cut one of the fireworms in half and impaled it like a wacky rigged Senko. My first cast didn't land where I wanted it to, so I started to crank it back in fast when I saw a swirl behind my worm. I stopped my retrieve, and as soon as the split shots hit bottom, fireworms float by the way, as soon as my line went slack, a trout smashed that worm and went airborne. Hoping I had discovered something new, I cast again and let the worm sink to the bottom. Cranked fast about five turns and then stopped and let the rig sink back down again. I repeated this a few times, varying the number of cranks and my worm got smashed again. Fish on. I got bit on every cast for a good 45 minutes and probably landed a third of those. What a fun way to pass the time until the carp woke up. Of course, every fish is fun on the crappie rod. On one cast, as I was cranking, the worm got stopped, but not smashed. As the fish started heading for the reeds, I knew it was a carp. That's just what they do. It turned out to be a beautiful seven pound mirror carp so I decided to just fish for carp for a while, and I ended up catching eight, the biggest of which went 8.5 pounds. During the lulls, I fished for trout and caught 65. Crank and stop, crank and stop, crank and stop. It couldn't be simpler or more effective. I always forget about fishing for carp at Quail Lake probably because I've never caught a big one there. But it's close by. So this season I plan on spending more time there just to see what I can get. Hope to see you and good luck out there.